hey guys so today i'm going to be showing you how to make a cream for a dark skin tone or caramel skin tone um person i know we'll be making whitening lightening cream so today i'm going to show you how to make a caramel skin tone or a dark skin tone cream now if this is what you have been waiting for and you would want to learn you definitely want to watch this video till the very end hey flawless skin gang welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Sele Kalio, and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping bye so for today's video just like the title says we're going to be making a different kind of cream a cream that is meant for the dark skin tone family better write this one out in the closet now if you have a caramel tone you have um dark skin tone and you want your complexion to be um beautiful bright and you know look very very radiant you want to try this recipe now as always before we start we're going to clean our surfaces make sure that everywhere is clean make sure that um our bowls and everything that we're going to be used is well sanitized and we're going to go straight into the video guys um for this recipe we're doing it from scratch so we're going to be using e-wax and for e-wax i'm using five percent e-wax i'm sure a lot of us know how e-wax works and why we use e-wax now if you don't know i might just link another video here so that you can see and understand what exactly e-wax does in your formulation We're also going to be using steric acid at 3%. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, this cream I'm making is a 100 ml batch or a 100 gram batch. So I'm making, I'm using steric acid at 3% and that will be 3 grams. Now I also added cetyl alcohol at 5%. Unfortunately, I didn't film that part. I am also going to be adding carrot oil. And for carrot oil, I'm doing 5% as well. Now, if you know how to um, convert your percentage to grams, this would be an easy breezy recipe for you. But if you don't, you will need to get my ebook to learn how to formulate a proper recipe, convert your percentages to gram, and also learn about so many other ingredients and other formulations and recipes and so many other things that you need to know before you go into the business of skincare formulation now I'm also going to be using shea butter and for shea butter I'm using five grams of shea butter shea butter is very very nice when it comes to skincare formulation it helps soften the skin it is really really good on the skin you can also use shea butter on your hair natural hair it is a very very good emollient but it can be it can or may be um pore clogging if you have a an oily skin or you're prone to acne so be careful when you're using it on your face now we're also going to be using sepi white remember this cream is for a dark skin tone person so the ingredients i'm using are ingredients that will help clear pigmentation that will help even out the complexion and give you that very radiant beautiful glow from within and for sepi white i'm using two grams of sepi white that is two percent of sepi white now this in this recipe is a hundred gram batch so everything i'm using 
I'm going to be listing in grams and in percentage. Now, this is my liquorice powder as well. And for liquorice powder, we're going to be using that at 4%, which is 4 grams. Now, liquorice powder helps to regenerate elastin and collagen for skin that's smooths to the touch and stretches easily that means it helps to um, create elasticity on the skin it also contains amino acid which has long been known to help moisturize and rehydrate the skin so that is why i'm using liquorice powder in this formulation it can also help um, hyperpigmentation green veins it can help with dark spots dark patches it generally helps to clean the skin very nicely and also helps hydrate the skin now i'm going to add that into our oil phase because the liquorice powder and our sepi white powder are both oil soluble powder so i'm adding them in our oil phase so while we're waiting for that to dissolve i'm going to measure out my water phase and I'm going to do for water we're doing 60.5 percent of water so that would be 60.5 grams or ml of water and then we're also going to be using vitamin c which is ascorbic acid now vitamin c can help promote collagen production and it has the potential to also thicken the damage that's the top layer of your skin it can diminish fine lines and it's essential for firm youthful skin so adding vitamin c into your formulation will also help um, protect skin cells from damaging damaging from free radicals caused by uv exposure so vitamin c is very very good for the skin but the only problem is that vitamin C is highly unstable. So if you're going to be using vitamin C in your formulation, you want to incorporate folic acid. Now, folic acid doesn't only help to make the vitamin C stable. It also helps make it more effective. Now, you want to add vitamin C and also add vitamin E to help give your vitamin C a very strong boost now our water has been heated up and now i'm pouring it into our bowl that i'm going to be using for our mixture and i'm just measuring the water out so that we have an accurate measurement of 60.5 percent which in this case is 60.5 grams now i'm going to add my vitamin c into the water if you notice i let the water sit for a while before i added my vitamin c so vitamin C is a water soluble um, compound or product. As you can see, it has dissolved immediately, like immediately without any extra work. It has dissolved completely. So you don't want to um, dissolve your vitamin C with very hot water. At least your water should be around 60 degrees celsius to give it a proper um, meltdown so here we have our oil and our water now i'm going to pour the oil into the water because i'm doing an, an oil in water emulsion as you can see there our cream is foaming up because of the liquorice powder liquorice powder tends to foam up when you add it into um, water so don't worry if you see this it will dissolve or go down just leave it to sit for a while and it will all the bubbles will all burst off and you see your cream in a few minutes so here now i'm going to add other of my ingredients like my vitamin e oil i'm going to be adding my vitamin e oil at 0.5 percent which would be 0.5 grams so i'm just going to be taking my dropper bottle to add my vitamin c oil at 0.5 
percent. I'm just going to give that a stare. If you notice, I'm not using the whisk. I'm not using the the electric power of the whisk i'm just using my hands to mix everything together because i don't want my cream to foam up even more so here i have my preservative i'm using jamal plus preservative if you have phenoxytinol that's also good to use but this is what i have at hand right now and for my preservative i'm going to be using 0.5 percent which is also 0.5 grams now remember this batch is a hundred ml batch or a hundred gram batch so i'm going to be using propylene glycol at one percent one percent would be one gram of propylene glycol and that's what i'm going to be using So I'm just going to give that another stir just to make sure that everything that I'm adding now is properly incorporated and well blended into the formulation. Now notice that I'm not whisking with the electric strength. I'm just using my hands. Now I'm going to be adding essential oil and for my essential oil, I'm using Lang Lang essential oil and I'm using that at 0.5%. I love this essential oil because it gives my products very nice fragrance so I don't need to use any external fragrance. I hardly use fragrance in my formulations so I like to use essential oils that have nice fragrance. Better write this one out in the closet. So it can show or shine through or smell through <laughs> my product. <laughs> So I also added polysorbate 80 at 2%. I didn't show that. Polysorbate 80, I added that at 2%. I'm going to leave the link, the list of everything that I used. So I have left my cream to sit for a while just to make sure that the the foaminess breaks down and also um, to allow the the cream cool down a bit so it forms into a cream as you can see see how creamy this looks this formulation is so creamy and beautiful now if you are a dark skinned girl and you want that really nice hydrated looking skin clear without any blemishes hyperpigmentation or you know anything that will make your skin not look look nice then you definitely want to try this recipe out here i'm just putting on the cream on my hands to make sure that i love the feel of it and my i love how nice this cream feels on my hands thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye